Hello guys, in uh, the last video we, we showed you know these operations of long division to refresh your uh, memory about how to do the division and now we're gonna uh, think about how to implement the circuits that do this uh, division for us so uh, here is you know uh, a rough algorithm that can be used to do the division you know automatically so First of all, the division is a unique operation in which some uh, operations are not legal. Like for example, uh, dividing by zero. So your hardware should be, you know, aware of this condition in which the divisor is zero, and in that case, it will not perform the division and should notify the user or the programmer that there is a problem with his, you know, code. For example. So. Now the algorithm to do the division. If 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 the divisor is not zero, how to proceed? How to implement what we did just using Weber and Ben in in in, in hardware? So uh, when we said can one zero 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 goes into one, actually we are saying if the divisor is less is greater than dividend or not, or less than dividend or not. Okay. And if it's less than we put one in, in, in the quotient, okay? If it's not, and we do subtraction, of course. If it's not, we, 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 uh, we ask ourselves another question, does one zero zero, which is eight, goes into one zero. So we extend one, uh, another bit in the, you know, in the uh, uh, dividend, basically. Okay? So that's like exactly uh, shift right uh, the uh, the divisor, okay? Or basically shift left the dividend. Both are equivalent, okay? So uh, like for example here in the beginning it we were comparing like this one zero zero one zero one zero and we shift bit one bit so it, it's become like this so it's still uh, not uh, you know uh, the, div the divisor is not greater than the dividend in that case one then we shift another bit it will become like this still then we shift another bit it become like this and in that yeah, and shift another this is basically you know one zero 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 then we shift another bit it become like this and in that case yes one zero 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 one zero zero one is greater than one zero 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 so we can put in the quotient put one in the quotient and the and make the subtraction okay so what we're gonna really do is, is the following we check if the divisor is, is less than the dividend uh, if it is then we put one in the quotient and we do subtraction otherwise we put zero in the quotient and we bring it down in the next dividend digit like what we did like for example here we we put down this bit here okay so what we're gonna do is exactly the following we're gonna subtract whether the divisor is greater or uh, or less than the dividend if it's less that's okay if it's uh, greater, we're gonna restore the, you know, the division by redoing the subtract subtraction again. Okay, so it will become you know very uh, very clear when we do uh, uh, you know an example. So bear for me with, for a minute, and we're gonna do an example. It will be very clear for you. Here is basically the circuit. So we're gonna uh, do, it is very similar to the multiplier circuit. We have, you know, in MIPS, you know, guys, it is 32 bit registers. So in that case, we're gonna make the divisor 64 bits. The remainder is 64 bits and the quotient will be just 32 bits. And why 64 for the remainder as divisor? Because of the, uh, you know, uh, of the shifting operation as the remainder and the divisor is 64 bit we need uh, an adder this is the symbol for the for the adder arithmetic adder to be also 64 bit 
we put the divisor in the left half so we divide this into halves this will be zeros and this will be just the divisor value also the remainder will be uh, uh, will contain you know uh, initially the dividend and the quotient will be zeros at the beginning and here is the algorithm that we're gonna follow in order to do the subtraction okay first we subtract the divisor from the remainder so we perform this operation r equal to r minus d remainder equal to r uh, remainder minus this old remainder minus the divisor if it's uh, if it's greater than zero we're gonna put one in the quotient we're gonna put shift one here if it was zero that means the divisor was less than the dividend i'm sorry it was greater than the dividend so we should re redo this operation by basically doing addition okay and this will cancel out uh, the added so basically if, if let's call this r new this is r old and we're gonna we want to restore our old here okay so uh, so what we're gonna do this is our new we're gonna remove it and put our old minus d and we have here plus d so we could restore back to our old okay and then we're gonna shift uh, the quotient register to the left and put zero not one so we're gonna shift again but put zero not one then we we shift the divisor register right by one bit so the quotient is going to the left the divisor is going to the right as we can see here and we do this for n plus one uh, number of bits repeat, repeat, repetition. So we know that the registers in MIPS are 32 bits, so we should repeat this for 33 times. So at the iteration number 33, we should exit. If we have four bits, we should repeat for five times and so on. Let's see an, an example because the example will make it very clear, very clear. Let's divide, for example, 7 by 2. And we're going to consider 4 bits here. So 7 as 4 bits is 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, the divisor, is, which is 2, it's 1, 0. But we're going to put 2, 0, 0 to make it 4 bits. We know in the you know uh, uh, that the quotient should be 1, uh, 3 at the end. And the remainder should be 1. And here is, uh, here is how we can you know uh, initialize the registers that we have okay let's let's start by the first iteration so in the first iteration we subtract we do r equal to r minus d remember here to make the subtraction we should convert d or we should add the so uh, r minus d will be basically r plus the two complement of d Okay, so uh, the two complement of D is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We take the first complement, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Then we add 1. This will be 0, and we have a carry of 1. 0, 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 we have a carry of 1. Then 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that's basically the two complement. So we're going to add basically zero 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 uh, zero zero one 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 to one 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 zero and the four zeros here this will give us one 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 zero zero one 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 that's the result here okay so whenever you see r equal to r minus d you should find the two complement of the d and add it to the r okay okay let's continue uh, we replace the old value of r and we put, uh, you know, uh, yeah, then we check basically uh, the bit here, this bit. If it's 1, that means it's less than 0. If it's 0, that means it's greater than 0. It's positive. Here it's 1, so that, that means it's a negative. 
So if it's a negative, we should restore back the old value of R, which is that one here. How we restore it? Just re-add. So let's do it. So here is the new value. What we're going to do, we're going to add D to it. Not the two component of D. D. D itself. 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. If we add this, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, and we have a carry of 1, 0, we have a carry of 1, 0, we have a carry of 1. Since it's 8 bits, we're going to just stop here. So it will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. This is basically the original value. Okay? And in the same step, we're going to shift the left the quotient and we put 0. So we're going to put this zero here. The third step is to shift the device or register right by one bit. So we're going to shift it uh, to the right like this. And we're going to put zero here at the most significant bit. This is the first iteration. It's less than five because here we have four bits. So we should repeat for five times. Let's do again. We go from the start. Subtract the divisor from the remainder and check the sign. The sign is negative, so we should restore back the old value and shift left the quotient and put zero. Shift right the the, devi the divisor uh, and put uh, another zero here. This is the second iteration, third iteration r equal to r minus d it is still negative so we should re re go back to reset it back to uh, original value which is this one here and shift left is a quotient and to put zero then we shift right is a divisor and put another zero then the interesting case happens in the fourth iteration we do r equal to r minus d and here is the most significant bit it is zero that means it's positive so in that case we're gonna go to the second branch so we're gonna keep the value of r we will not reset it but now we're gonna shift left the quotient and the put zero at the least significant bit and in all cases we shift right the divisor fifth iteration we do r equal to r minus d again it's positive so we are gonna shift left the quotient and put another one and the fine finally we do shift right for the divisor where is now the results the result is basically here is the quotient in the quotient register and the 7 divided by 2 is will give you a quotient of 3, which is the case here. And the remainder is basically in the remainder register. Okay, guys, that was it for this uh, lecture. In the next uh, video, we're going to explore how to improve this hardware to make it basically uh, in, uh, has less area and less resources. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.